Hello everyone, uh, I haven't logged into this game in a week and it feels great to finally kick the addiction. Uh, for today's video, I wanted to do a bit of a channel review type of thing. It is the end of the year, New Year's is in five days from now, from recording, probably like three days from whenever I release this. Anyways, I wanted to take a look at the channel, um, basically see what went well this year, what didn't go well this year, talk about goals, the future, future videos, and also I uh, wanted to give you guys a massive thank you, uh, spe specifically this video is mostly for the subscribers, so uh, thank you guys so much, without you the channel wouldn't be anywhere, I'd just be some guy posting or making videos posting to nobody, uh, so yeah, really do appreciate all of you guys because without you guys there's no point to any of this, so yeah, let's uh, dive in. I wanted to talk a little bit about the channel growth this year. Well, here's my dashboard. Here's the inner workings of a YouTube account, including how much money they're paying me for these views. It's about, uh, it fluctuates between $200, $300 a month. So I'm not exactly getting rich over here. It's definitely not worth the time put into the videos at this level. Um, obviously it is once you become a bigger YouTuber and all that, you get the brand deals and all of that stuff. The uh, If you see most of the big YouTubers, their money's not coming from AdSense. It's coming from the brand deals and the, the ad plugs that they do in the videos. Um, either way, uh, we gained almost 3,000 subscribers this year. I didn't really check, but YouTube sent me an email about all of this. They give you like all of the growth analytics for that year, so that is awesome. My goal was 10,000, um, just because it's a good clean number, and we fell very, very short of that. I'm gonna be doing a deep dive into my analytics, personally not on this video, just to see why that was, see what I can do to fix for the future. I do have a few ideas already because obviously as a YouTube creator, uh, I look at this stuff every day and go through it and try to see what is going good and what is going bad. So uh, let's go over to the content tab and see what went well this year. It took me a long time to figure out how to get to this page. YouTube analytics, uh, it's kind of messy. There's a ton on the back end. Um, not going to go super deep into it, but if you guys would be interested in more like YouTube analytics type of videos, let me know. Would be happy to make those, but uh, this is primarily a RuneScape channel, and I have learned that deviating from that is a recipe for disaster for myself. Anyways, uh, just looking at what video types did really well for me are more videos about RuneScape, not videos of me actively playing the game in like a let's play type of format. Uh, so things like the best AFK training methods, just uh, providing information for the viewer. Uh, things like guides, which is the same type of concept where somebody is looking for a specific set of value, uh, how to do the activity and then me, myself, providing that value for them. Those did very well as well. Well, I tried to scroll down to my least performing videos and it wouldn't let me do it, but you know, I've been looking at them every time I upload, so I'm, I'm aware uh, that the videos where I'm actively playing the game, kind of like setting a goal and trying to seek out to accomplish it, those videos don't do nearly as well for me and i think that has to do with a bunch of different reasons one you guys aren't interested in watching it um if we're looking at this as like a business relationship where you guys are looking for value and i'm providing it that doesn't provide as much value for you therefore you're not watching it um also i do think that uh just looking at some other creators and listening to some other creators let's play style videos are kind of on their way out and have been over the last 10 years and people just aren't watching them nearly as much as they used to be one of the other big pitfalls that i fell into that i'm sure most of you who are watching this if not all of you have done this at one time or another i became addicted to good old rooney on two separate occasions once just generally in the middle of the year and another time for leagues where I kind of treated it as a full-time job. This is super duper unhealthy. Uh, when you kind of stop focusing on the truly important things in your life and you're kind of just focusing on this video game, I'm um, happy to say that I've fully kicked this habit, haven't logged in in a week, and honestly don't have too much desire to grind anything out here. I think I'm probably gonna log in, I'm gonna do like 10 clue scrolls, and then I'm gonna go do something else. And uh, that's perfectly okay. I think it's just important for all of us to keep that in check a little bit. And if we do realize that uh, we're letting the other more important parts of our life slip, it might be time to step away for a little bit. You can always come back to it. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. 
And uh, yeah, don't don't get FOMO'd into playing eight hours of RuneScape a day. I'll lay off. Nobody wants to be preached at about their gaming addiction that they may or may not have or may or may not realize that they have. Um, yeah, I'm talking to all of you right now. Oh. Anyways, what is next for the future for me? What are the next plans and all of that? Um, as we went over the analytics, the videos that did well, um, I would love to get to that 10,000 subscribers for 2024. I do think it's going to be doable, but I do need to focus on the type of videos that provide value for you, the viewer, and for videos that you guys do want to be watching. Otherwise, you're not going to watch them. Um, kind of uh, sounds silly saying it out loud, but you know, it, it makes intuitive sense there. So I'm going to be focusing on more videos, more about RuneScape specific things. I'm not sure if I want to like foray into like a video essay format. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll try one out and see how it does. It's just like not really my vibe as of now, but you know, maybe, maybe we'll move into that and see how that works. Um, other than that, the videos, I, I have a whiteboard next to me, you can't really see it, but you've seen it in other videos. Um, I'm going to be looking into videos about like how to max. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to split that into two different ones, like a video on like tips and tricks along the way, or do one that's like literally how to do each and every single skill to max. Um, I'll, I'll have to do it really brief on each one. Otherwise, it's going to be like a six hour video, which a uh, six hour video for you to watch takes me like 40 hours to make. And that's just too much, especially when it could be split into individual skill guides, which is something that I feel like I should probably do as well, especially since I'm a little bit fresh on it from coming off of maxing. I literally just did all of them to 99. So, you know, kind of an expert in that regard at the at the current time until everything changes up, as it probably should if the game does want to progress into the future here. Other things, uh, oh shit, I have this video. The one, the one that I'm currently making up on the board too. Something I did want your input on is my money making series. Uh, basically every RuneScape YouTuber has the same series. Uh, you do X amount of a boss, you tally up all of the loot, in my case very poorly, uh, and then compare it to the wiki, see how you did, uh, maybe judge it against some other analytics, and eventually do a giveaway down in the comment section below to drive engagement. And engagement, it does drive. And uh, honestly, this is the most fun that I have making the videos. I love doing these. This is what I would be doing if I was just playing the game and not making videos anyways. Uh, just killing monsters, getting collection logs, and just racking up kills and doing that type of stuff. So th that's what I enjoy doing in-game regardless. So that's cool. Um, my main concern with this one is that I might be driving the wrong type of audience to my channel. Uh, I did ask for people to subscribe, and I'm afraid that I might be attracting a subscription base that is only looking for videos with giveaways, uh, which is a little bit concerning. I was looking at some comments from some other YouTubers on Reddit and Quora and some other places, and they, they alleged that giveaways did ruin their channel because of that. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, do you think I would be attracting the wrong type of audience with this type of video format? Um, should I stop asking people to subscribe as part of the giveaway? Um, ultimately, I could just ask for people to like and comment, which does drive the engagement. People who are actually interested in the comment could subscribe if they want to and kind of go from there. Um, yeah, let, let me know your feedback. That's really important to me because this is one of the big projects that um, I'm kind of 50-50 on whether I continue doing or not. Either way, little uh, little secret on the YouTuber creator end, we can't really see if you're subscribed anyways unless you allow us to in your settings. So it's not really necessary for a giveaway on mine or anybody else's channel. I was also thinking of doing a video about how to start an old school RuneScape YouTube. Uh, there was a long period of time where I was like on the fence about doing it. Uh, di I, I did want to do it, it's just I didn't really know how to start about doing it, and I kind of just sat on it for like a year. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's tons of you that are in the same place, and uh, I, I, the, the push that I got to start doing it was when I'm a Drum went on the Old School RuneScape podcast and basically kind of like detailed a little bit about how he got started and did the whole process and everything, and that's kind of the push that I needed to start doing it. So I was wondering if you guys would be interested in that from me as well. Um, obviously, I'm not the most successful, or nowhere near like top 100 most successful RuneScape YouTubers, but you know, uh, got it up, got it started. There's a few subscribers on there and it is generating some income. So that's always cool. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that from me. I know it's not specifically RuneScape content, but 
Um, it, it was something that would have helped me personally before I started, so um, yeah, just let me know. I want to finish this guy off with an extra special thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, without this, without you, uh, this would not exist, so uh, really appreciate it. I never thought I'd be able to make money playing this silly video game, so yeah, it's really appreciated on multiple different levels. Uh, if you did have any suggestions for any content that you did want to see, I would love to make it for you. Just hit me up down in the comments section below. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys all had a great holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And uh, I will see you all in the new year.